Interchange is a four-level American English course that has been used by over 50 million students worldwide. New to the course in the fifth edition is a classroom app that allows teachers to extend the material in the textbook to a digital environment with polling, surveys, and photo flashcards. It is designed for classroom use to personalize the speaking activities, more deeply engage students, and help teachers quickly assess student learning. Okay, everybody, take out your phone. The class starts with the teacher getting the students to join her class on the app. Once the teacher has selected teacher on the home screen, she will be shown her unique class number, which she then shares with the class. Our topic is news. We get news from many different places. I'd like to know where do you get your news from? At this point, the teacher navigates to the relevant level of the course they are teaching, then selects the unit and area of focus, in this case, the unit opener. Once that's done, the teacher simply has to click launch to start the activity on the student's phones. So please pick up your phone and answer the question for me. Where do you get your news from? When you're done, put your phone down so I know that you're finished with the activity. Polling activities get all students involved and engaged with the topic. Once the students are done, the teacher sees the results on her phone. Okay, most of you get your news from the internet. Are you reading newspapers on the internet? Are you reading headlines on the internet? When I wake up, I uh, see Twitter. Yeah, for me it's the best way to get the news. Okay, very good. Let's put our cell phones away and open our books to page 22. Okay, now that we studied the simple past and past continuous, let's practice it with a partner. We're gonna pull out our phones and you're gonna be looking at some pictures. And for those pictures, you're gonna describe what happened in those pictures. Next up is the first grammar focus activity, which is simple to set up with your class. Scroll down to the appropriate unit, select first grammar focus, and press launch. The activity will then appear on the student's devices. This example from Level 3, Unit 4, is a pair work activity with a picture slideshow. It's perfect for practicing the grammar the students have just studied in the book and provides an extra speaking opportunity. What was happening at 1 o'clock yesterday afternoon? What was happening? Okay, so it was raining, right? Yeah, it, it was, was raining. Very once that activity is finished, the class can move on as normal. Okay, good job. We can put our phones away and we're gonna look in our book on page 23 and talk about the pronunciation of these sentences. Yeah. Now everyone take out your phone. Surveys are great for getting the whole class engaged and giving everyone an opportunity to contribute. To set this up, navigate to the level and unit you are working on, select that in the app, and now launch the activity. So go ahead and enter your sentence, something you had done in the past. Just like the polls, they can be used as a launching point for personalized activities, giving students an opportunity to talk about what's important to them. Wow, we have some interesting answers here of things that you have done. Who had visited many countries before they moved here? Uh, I had been to Japan and Singapore. Wonderful. Who had eaten many interesting foods before they came to the United States? What had you eaten? Um, I had eaten stinky tofu in Taiwan. Interesting. The unit closer activity is one more opportunity for speaking practice. Okay, we've been studying the past perfect. 
Now we're gonna get into groups of three or four people. Okay, so let's get into groups. We're gonna use our classroom app and you and your partners are gonna describe what had happened in the pictures. Are you ready? Go ahead. Once the activity is launched by the teacher, students receive it on their phones and can start to discuss with each other. What did the thief do before the police caught him? He had stolen something. He had stolen something. Excellent. Okay, everyone, let's put our phones away. Okay, so we've been studying the past perfect. So of course we have to have some homework with that, yes? Our next chapter is on challenges. So for homework, I want you to write down some challenges you had before you came to the United States and maybe some challenges you have now. Download the Interchange Classroom app for free from Google Play or the iOS App Store. Thank you.